Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today guys, I'm checking out 10 Arrowverse fan theories that actually make sense released by Screen Rant on March 27, 2018. Now the reason why I'm saying the date of this video is because some of this might be outdated. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to check this out because I came across this video a little bit earlier, maybe around June or July, something like that, and I put it to the side saying one day I'll check it out at some point. So today is that day. Now, I'm pretty interested because there's been a lot of fan theories out there in terms of what's happening on current seasons of shows or what's going to be upcoming or characters being introduced, but I'm curious to see what Screen Rant puts in this video in terms of 10 Arrowverse fan theories that could actually make sense, but who knows. So I'll be going through the video, I'll be pausing throughout if I have to discuss something or something they bring up, I will obviously pause and discuss. So I'm pretty excited about this guys, so without further ado, let's jump into it now, 10, Ar 10 Arrowverse fan theories, blah, that actually makes sense, let's go. Okay. Recording, full size, wait, double check, make sure I'm recording. Yep, I am recording full screen. And we're gonna go. The Arrowverse has created a group of connected shows on the CW fans have grown to love over the years. With so many heroes, characters, and connected Earths, mythology behind the shows is bound to create some crazy theories, but some of them may actually be true. Before you watch, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new Screen Rant content. Gotcha. Sure. I am not the Green Arrow. If you're not the, the Green Arrow, then who is? Photos can be doctored. They could have put Bruce Wayne's head on that body. Bruce Wayne left Gotham to hang out in Star City recently? No. Hmm. Batman is dead. Oh. Arrowverse shows have featured some big well, this is outdated. heroes like The Flash and Superman, but they have never focused on one of the greatest of all time, Batman. When people see this big guy in a scary mask, and they freak out. They run away, just like Clark's friend. Oh, you mean, I feel like they're more frenemies. While Arrow has mentioned Bruce Wayne in name, truth of the matter may be that Batman is actually dead. I'll pause right there. So this is outdated. Mark Pedowitz, the president of CW, I think he's the president of CW, um, confirmed back in uh, earlier this this month, actually in August, uh, stating that Batman does exist in the Arrowverse, but we won't see him. And it's not because the CW doesn't want. I, I guarantee you, they want to do Batman. However, Warner Brothers, the higher ups, do not want this to happen. They're very protective of that character, so we're probably never going to see him in the Arrowverse. But you never know. We got Batwoman, who has been confirmed, which I didn't expect a Bat Family character. That's happening. I didn't expect Superman. He's coming in the crossover. He appeared in season two of Supergirl on the CW. Um, Wonder Woman hasn't happened yet, but you never know. But no, this, this theory is actually incorrect. Legends of Tomorrow first hinted at the death of Batman when Rip Hunter hinted at seeing Knights Fall. I've seen darker days. Yeah, but that's not... Me. I've seen Men of Steel die and Dark Knights fall. It's a cool Even reference, but it's not directly talking about Batman. Hunter also went across space and time to find brilliant minds like Ray Palmer, but didn't bring Bruce Wayne along for the ride. They They've also been mentions him. of Gotham City, but not sightings of the big black bat. Barry, I'm not letting you leave. No offense, Oliver, but you and what army? One. An all new Justice League. Hmm. The theatrical version of the Justice League may have been lackluster for many fans, but the Arrowverse is a chance to create a Justice League of their own. Don't expect Ben Affleck to be popping up on Arrow anytime soon, but there are plenty of great heroes who could fill the seats in the Hall of Justice. With crossover events like Crisis on Earth X, we've already I seen how it, the heroes can form together. I'm convinced. Ben, team up. Now it's up to characters like the Ray, the Atom, Vibe, and the Green Arrow to form a league of their own. A Justice League they basically do well during the crossover. And it's only a matter of time before these heroes work together in official manner. Mmm. <laughs> okay. It was nice. A link to Black Lightning. Okay. The debut of Black Lightning has offered even more heroic fun on the CW. But the show set out to stray away from the Arrowverse and develop its own identity. If the rumors are true, then the separation did not last long. Fans feel like it's only a matter of time before Black Lightning joins forces with other heroes. The show has made mention that other heroes exist and characters have name dropped some of our favorites like Supergirl and Vixen. Well, not unless you came in here to tell me you're gonna pause this. Bust you. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm not Vixen. We're Supergirl. A crossover event. 
I, I don't believe this theory. I mean, look, they said from the very beginning that Black Lightning is not connected, and they film outside of Canada. The all, all four Arrowverse shows that are connected, Legends, Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, all film in Vancouver, Canada. I think this film's in Georgia or something. Like, they don't film anywhere close. So if there is a crossover event in terms of linking Black Lightning to the rest of the Arrowverse, it, it would be a very hard task because they would have to do a bunch of flying. I mean, when they shot season one of Supergirl, when they were filming in Los Angeles, California, Grant Gustin up in Vancouver, Canada had to fly down for his crossover event with Supergirl on her episode because he couldn't just like drive to set. He had to fly down to California because they were they were completely separate. So he had to fly down for a couple of days, shoot whatever he had to shoot for that episode of Supergirl during season one, then fly back up and continue his show because there was no downtime. So yeah, I don't believe this is actually true. I think they're just name dropping characters because it's fun because they're in this DC. So there could be a version of Supergirl and Vixen on their Earth, but I don't think it's directly connected, but you never know. Truly make the Arrowverse massive and rival both the DCEU and MCU for the scale, size, and development over the years. Mm. You're not gonna beat him one on one. Plan B then. Crossing over with the Titans. DC Comics has spent years developing and planning their own streaming service dedicated to comic book properties. Mm. One of the first shows to premiere on the service will be called Titans, a live action adaptation of the Team Titans. The show follows Robin, Beast Boy, and other heroes on their heroic adventures. <laughs> to help promote the show and the new streaming service, the Titan characters could easily pop over to the CW for a crossover event. How great would it be to see Robin and the Flash interact? If the it rumors would, but it wouldn't true, happen. The service is set to debut in the fall of 2018. Just in time for the annual November crossover event featuring mm. Arrowverse shows. Nope. She had friends. I don't know what this next one is, but I would love it. And we've been talking about it for a long time when they announced they were doing a Titan show on this DC streaming service. Could it be connected? Could there be a way? And it look, looks like it's never going to happen. It could, but I doubt it. I didn't expect. You have friends too. What do you mean? There are others like you. Supergirl is a world killer. On the planet Krypton, some of the citizens mm. had natural powers from the sun, while others were manipulated through DNA splicing and other scientific experiments. Supergirl has a long history with her mother, but her father is rarely mentioned, and many fans have speculated he may be the one who changed Kara's genes and turned her into an unknown world killer. Mm. Make the others awake and unite beneath the standard of rain. What do you mean others? World killers. The dark history showcases how Kara prevails over evil, but it may be hard for her to cope with the new changes she must overcome as she tries to protect her Earth and Metropolis. The acceptance of being born as a world killer may be something Kara has to deal with and overcome for much of the future. Hmm. I'm really... I see where you're coming from in terms of the father doing some manipulation in terms of her, but... I mean, look, it, it could still it could still be a thing. It's just this has been, you know, like I said, March. So obviously this is backdated. So obviously they didn't have the rest of the season of Supergirl to kind of see what unfolds. She could maybe, but I, I don't think this is actually true. I mean, I would I would I would understand this if the world killer storyline was not finished. But in terms of when this video was released, it, the season wasn't over. But it's a good theory. I'm excited to be here. Oh, I mean, at a wedding. Anyway, it just, it just I, I think I know what this one is. And I don't know, I just feel like this is going to be one for the ages. Barry and Iris's child. We already know this. Confirmed. More recent episodes of Confirmed. Flash, introduced to a mysterious Confirmed, honey. Character. Confirmed. She Barry and Iris Girlfriend gives a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, she gives me. Jitters. The language she was writing in matches the same peculiar writing Barry used when he returned from the speed uh, We already know. Uh, it's the principle of infinite Laura Allen, we already know. In our lives. It's always expanding. <laughs> Creating positive sums on an infinite basis. <laughs> The connections and slow tease have caused fans to speculate the female is actually Barry and Iris's daughter from the future, who was somehow sent back in time, hopefully not to make a flashpoint of her own. Her big revelation will likely be a part of the season finale and explored much further in the next season of The Flash. Already happened. Oh, wait. Batgirl? Oracle? Excuse me? Well, I thought that it was Bird 
Birds of Prey. Oh, Birds of Prey. Yeah, are close enough. Abundant in the Arrowverse. Mm. Each show has their own collection of female fighters looking to stop crime and save the world. I have to break through the process of protective fire while the stop came in fires, and the fact that the processor is exponentially overclocking and he's just tickled the cooling system. Did not understand a single word that you just said. On Arrow, Felicity is the cyber tech guru of the group, and her previous paralysis has drawn similar comparisons to Barbara Gordon's role as the Oracle. Yeah. While playing the Oracle, Gordon helped form the all-female hero team known as the Birds of Prey. With multiple versions of the Black Canary, the Huntress, and other characters, the Birds of Prey group could easily reform in the Arrowverse for an extended storyline. With Felicity at the helm, the group could complete their own mission while Oliver Queen focuses on mayoral duties. Mm. Well, first of all, he lost his mayoral duties during season six. Mayoral, blah, I can't even speak today. He lost being the mayor. Um, I, I liked your Birds of Prey point up to the Felicity part. I'm not a huge fan of Felicity. She's better when she's not being written as kind of the main focus of the show. Because it's about Arrow, Oliver Queen, not Felicity. But... I've been saying it for a bit, even when they announced Batwoman, that even ups the idea of possibly Birds of Prey storylines like happening down the road. We have Dinah Drake, which some people go, she's not the Black Canary. She's the Black Canary on the show. If you don't agree with it, that's fine, but that's what they've done on the show. Because Laurel, Earth 2 Laurel, who's now on there, Black Siren, and now they're saying season 7 is going to get kind of a redemption thing. She's not Black Canary. She's not. She's Black Siren at this point still, but it's Laurel. They could, and Huntress, Huntress was introduced early on in Arrow, so they could do a version. They could. And Batwoman, and I have a sneak suspicion, Oracle, not Batgirl. I want Batgirl, but Oracle might be popping up because the rumor originally a couple years ago was Batwoman and Oracle was going to be popping up on Supergirl Season 2 on the CW. That didn't end up happening. Oracle may still end up happening just because Batgirl will be used in the films, but Oracle, they may not get to that point in the movie, so they might allow that character to be used elsewhere. But... Birds of Prey, I liked your idea. Up to the Felicity point, then I lost interest in your point. But yes, I would like a Birds of Prey storylines or even a Birds of Prey show if they wanted to do that at some point. Decided to run back in time again and let things happen in hopes of resetting the timeline. But um, when I came back, things weren't the same. Barry Allen and the Time Masters. Mm. On the Legends of Tomorrow, we met a group of leaders known as the Time Masters. Okay. While the leaders of the group ended up being evil, the goal of the group was to protect the timeline from being changed or manipulated by any type of time traveler. The origins of the Time Masters was never fully explained, but multiple theories have pointed to Barry Allen. Ooh. Allen really screwed things up when he created the Flashpoint. Yeah. Even though he tried to correct his mistakes, he knows what it's like to manipulate time and the consequences they cause. Yeah. Kind of like we're the founding fathers of the Time Bureau. In a way, I suppose if you lot hadn't created the greatest time paradox the world had ever known, all of these people would have nothing to do. Without the ability to do mm. everything on his own, a theory explains that Barry created that the Time Masters as a way to regulate changes. We guess that only time will tell if that theory is true. I like where your head's at. I like that idea of Barry Allen like creating the Time Masters in a sense. But if, but if this was something that they wanted to cover, they would have already done it. So I would think if this was true, they probably would have already said Barry Allen in the future creates the Time Masters or in some sort of way. I don't know. It seems that Rip Hunter did it. It seems that Rip, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe he didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Because see, they just showed season three footage in terms of Rip Hunter talking about the, the paradox and all that kind of stuff that they created. and then But they showed season one stuff with Captain Cold. So... I don't know. There might be a situation where some hero, maybe not the Flash, created the t the Time Masters because he sees all the manipulation in terms of what's happening with the timeline with Barry and other speedsters in the future. Who knows? It, that could have been what happened. This ain't no task force. Suicide Squad. Like it is. Welcome to the Suicide Squad. The debut of The Secret Six. Mm. Early on in Arrow's okay. run, we got to see the television version of The Suicide Squad. Yep. The Margot Robbie and Will Smith big screen adaptation of The Suicide Squad crushed any chance of seeing the criminal group return to the Arrowverse again. Yes. The new rumors have started about another group of villains known as The Secret Six. Mm. Debuting in the pages of DC Comics, The Secret Six features six villains aimed to cause all types of death and destruction while on missions. So that's it. What, are we some kind of... Suicide Squad. Members of the group have included Deadshot, Catwoman, and Bane, among others. Arrow mm. can easily branch out to more characters as episodes go on. 
Okay. That could work. It's kind of funny how you, you, you showed two clips of two different versions of Deadshot saying Suicide Squad. That, it was just the biggest piece of crap ever that they killed off Deadshot and Amanda Waller, Amanda Waller blah, because of the Suicide Squad movie. It's, it's, it's a horrible decision. If there's multiple Earths, multiple different things going on, you can, the, the characters are in different places, movies, TV, then don't mess with it. Let them do what they want to do. If it's separate universes, then let the TV side do what they want to do so they're not, you know, so they're not constrained and they're, they're not backed into a corner of what they can do because that's what's happening in the MCU. Not saying it's a bad thing. The MCU's direction is all the TV shows connected to the MCU have to follow the guidelines of what the movies are doing. Can't do any, can't do too anything, do anything too crazy, because then it will affect the movies. So in this, they've said separate universes. The movie side is different than the TV side. If that's the case, then stop messing with the TV writers. Stop messing with what they can do. That's all I'm saying. Nice outfit. Except for I would have gone with fishnets. Good moment. Dinah Drake's time travel. Mm, Mantle what? Mantle of the Black Canary feels like it is constantly evolving. Originally created by Sarah Lance, the Black Mask was passed on to her sister, Laurel Lance, yep. and is now used by Dinah Drake. Mm -hmm. Dinah Drake may seem like a random character, but she was the original Black Canary in the comic books, and the connection may be more purposeful than viewers realize. Using time travel to the Legends of Tomorrow, theory states that Dinah may get stuck back in time and is actually the grandmother of Sarah and Laurel Lance. Oh. The connection would make their story go full circle and provide a little more of the connection between Dinah's current obsession with the evil multiverse version of Laurel Lance. Cool. All right, well, I... I like that. Oh, that's a good theory. I've never heard that before. That is interesting. Where did you hear that from? Where did you hear that? Where did you hear this theory from? Because I've never heard of the idea of Dinah Drake getting stuck. But I don't think that would happen. Would that happen? Get on the wave rider and she gets stuck somewhere? I don't think so. I don't know. Yes, as, uh, That's interesting, though. Team leader, and first thing to do is uh, start out by um, uh, make a test run. Let's do a test run. Yeah, let's do a test run. Are we just supposed to pretend like we don't hear him? So just uh, suit up. And there you oh, have that's it. it. What oh. is your favorite arrow? Oh, there's one show? more. Are there any theories we missed? Should there be more crossover events? Let yes. us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to yeah. Spider-Man okay. on YouTube so you can stay up to date with all the videos. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, we're ending this. Stop recording. Okay. So pretty good video. Some of them were outdated. Uh, one I heavily disagreed with, well, when they mentioned Felicity being the, 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 the main character of Birds of Prey, no. Um, the one that really got me was that Dinah Drake time travel. That's very interesting, because I never thought about her being the original Black Canary. Like, she's stuck in the timeline, and she becomes the original Black Canary, and she's actually the grandmother of, of Sarah and Laurel. Interesting. But some of these were outdated due to the fact that the, the video was released months back and you know obviously stuff has happened since then but uh it, there's so many fan theories it's kind of hard to keep up like but then again people just throw out stuff that just makes no sense sometimes but uh it's fun to theorize making noises over there jesus this thinking woman i don't know but it's fun to theorize in terms of what's going to happen, especially with Batwoman being announced for the crossover. There's been theory, theories of who's going to be the villain. Now, Superman and Lois Lane is like Superman and Supergirl. Okay, who are they fighting? So they're, they're going to have to explain that. Unless Superman's not doing any fighting, which would be really stupid. So I don't know. But this was a pretty solid video. Pretty good. I, I wish some of these were, I wish more of these were not outdated, but it is what it is because the video is older. But uh, I had fun checking it out. I'm curious to know what you guys thought about the video. What were some of your favorite theories? Um, what were some theories that you thought they were going to mention, but they didn't? Like, if, what, what are theories you have in terms of what's going to happen in the upcoming seasons of the shows, the crossover event, villains, whatever theories you have. I'm curious to know what, what theories you have about the Arrowverse and the upcoming seasons or, you know, what they could be doing potentially in the future because, you know, it, it, the possibility is really in this because if, if Batwoman gets, it gets her own show, then it's, it's continuing the Arrowverse and then other characters can spin off to other stuff. So, I mean, I'm just curious to know what you guys think is going to happen in terms of theories in the future. So, there you have it, guys. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction and my thoughts on the video. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.